Hello there, Rip Savage reporting from the wilds of Deer Valley, Utah, where tonight Cottonwood High School is having their 10-year class reunion for the class of 1973. It's a pleasure to be here, a pleasure reporting the facts as they happen. And to start with the facts, let's bring on a person that knows more about this class reunion than I think anyone else could possibly know. A wild girl herself. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Susan Farr. Susan, please join me out here. Hi, how are you? Very good. How are you doing? Oh, it's just a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here at this wonderful class reunion. Oh, it is wonderful. Why don't you tell the folks here exactly what the situation is? Well, right now, as you can hear the hubbub behind us, people are having a cocktail hour, uh -huh. and it's just going famous. Hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres, okay, drinks, liquor, you name it, we've got it. <laughs> Why don't we invite Brad Howes to come oh, out Brad. here? Brad, come on come in on here. In. There we go. Hi. Talk about wild guys. Brad, where did you come from? Um, my mom. Very good, very <laughs> good. Uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Yeah. Did, did you graduate from Codwood High School? Uh, I think so. I'm looking around. I'm trying to recognize some of these people. I'm not really sure. Not sure. You, you came from Pennsylvania. That's a long ways to come from. Uh, well, it depends on how you come. I came by airplane, or I should say jet, so it doesn't. That's cool. So you can back in now. I'm so sorry. Why don't you explain to Brad, Brad what happened, how this all came about? It came about, we had been out of high school 10 years, that's the course of action, we had a five year reunion and a 10 year reunion. That's what we're here to And that's it. Nothing Brad, I mean, I don't know, if you have any special questions, you know, we can answer them. Okay, um, why do we have, <laughs> why isn't it nine years, or why isn't it I was looking at it myself, I think a 14 year reunion is It hasn't come up yet. Maybe we'll go out of the Well, I think we should have a 13 year to eliminate that. That is very true. Bad luck situation, 13 and bad luck. Certainly, so, so it could be ugly sometimes. So, anyway. so it's a pleasure to have you guys here. Okay, I'll okay, enjoy yourself. Leave. No, Brad, you are fabulous. Thanks for coming. Thank Susan, you so much. Great, this great show. Great. Very good. And we'll have more people here in just a moment. Okay. Here we go. Of course, you're still in Salt Lake, right? Yes, I am. Okay, now you know that we're going to see these pictures in 10 years at our 20 year reunion. Okay. Okay, so, uh, you know, we can always get excited to see ourselves in 20 years. Oh, yeah. I know you're supposed to listen to the camera. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Don't say hard. You're hard at that. That's pretty philosophical. I'm speechless. For one, for the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Well, it's nice to have you. And we're rolling. Welcome back to the Deer Valley. Today we have a lovely family. It's wonderful to have you here at the last week. Bob, what have you been doing since you graduated from high school? Oh, bowling. bowling. <laughs> Tell us about your bowling game. Well, it's uh, not doing too good. I'm having a hard time playing it all. Crazy is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Rip Savage, once again from the wilds of Deer Valley, Utah. Is this Deer Valley? Yes. Yes, it is Deer Valley. And we're once again here with a great graduate from Cottonwood High School. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Celeste Holyoke. Celeste, what was your maiden name? Celeste Capel. And what have you been doing since you graduated from uh, Cottonwood High School? Well, I worked with uh, Marshall Disturbed, uh -huh. retarded children. Well, that's, that's why she's <laughs> working with me right now, because that's what I am. Uh, how far did you come to get here this evening? Well, I've been living in Virginia the last two and a half years, but we moved back to Salt Lake in December. Well, that's great. It's nice to have her back near her home, right? Absolutely. It's glad to have you. We'll be back with more people in a few moments. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say that Susan and I uh, ran against each other in the Cottonwood Classic. Uh, the outcome was very devastating. Uh, she, she won. Uh, not by two or three minutes, but by uh, 20 minutes. This was in a uh, 10K race, and, uh, but I did manage to beat her sister. Um, it's an admirable confession. Well, it had to be said. This is a terrific moment. It has nothing to do with the class of 1972.
I'd like to uh, leave with uh, a, a face. <laughs> What year did he graduate? Oh, okay. How many of these do you do of nine? Oh, this is, that's what this is. Yeah, that's Ripped what this is. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Russ, what have you been up to since you graduated? Uh, I've been in school. Really? Um, an awful lot, yeah. All the time, uh, in, in fact. Tower, no, so. out in, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Really? Yeah. Very good. Uh, are you still going to school? No, I finished. Yeah. Oh, very good. Well, are you living somewhere else? No, I'm still living in Cambridge. Yeah. Really? Doing research. Uh -huh. Who are you with here? This, this is Dana. Dana, she's a, a graduate student at Harvard. She's laughing hysterically. Yeah. I just laughed hysterically. Yeah. Uh, what is, what is she doing? She's a she does Russian studies. She she point the camera at her. She does Russian studies. Yes. <laughs> point the camera at him. He does chemistry. <laughs> chemistry is what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are you not recording this? No. Oh, you're just. No, he's just he's just no, no. practicing. He's gonna. Why are the colors so funny? I've been wondering uh, about drugs. that. Drugs? Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming here. That's right. Thank you. Alright, ready? Go, ready. ready. Stand by. Okay, stand by. Hello there, Rip Savage once again after dinner here at the Putnam High School 1973 hey, Union. We're talking okay. with Chris Sorensen Forbes. Okay, who is great. Now hey, okay. I agree. Chris, what does Randy do for fun and excitement? Wow! <laughs> Rip Savage reporting from the wild Deer Valley in Park City, Utah. A, an update. What do you guys do on the weekend? Yeah! Oh, we fuck around. Oh, you gotta say fornicate. Right what? Am I gonna get expelled? Yes, please, fornicate! Dalton's gonna be here tomorrow and you're out. Okay. Actually, I've been dating Chris for about um, 422 months now. Uh, She's not bad in the Back. horizontal position. Uh, the kids, uh, they come often, you know. Uh, what else do you need to know? How often do the kids come? Uh, brown shoe polish. <laughs> and the blue thing jeans. is, he makes me do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Only on Thursdays. Only on Thursdays. Thursdays. Only on Thursdays. Thursdays. I like to go out. There you go. You're wrong. You're wrong. Vodka and orange juice, Craig Siciliano, restaurant owner. Uh, Extraordinary. 4751 Holiday Boulevard, Salt Lake City. What, what's the name of the place? Oh. The food's fabulous. Food is fabulous. What's the name? Siciliano's. Siciliano. Italian food. Extraordinary. Mostly. 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 Great Steaks. sandwiches. Great sandwiches. Great Steaks sandwiches. And sandwiches. Free dinners with blowjobs. <laughs> Oh, only. I have a water bedroom. I have a water bedroom. <laughs> All right. I'm Kelly Reynolds Dent. This is my husband, Dave Dent. Hello. Where have you come from? Where have you come from, Sandy? Not too terribly far. <laughs> Smile. What have you had for the last 10 years? I have three children. Can I show them? Um, and having kids. <laughs> Can you see these kids on here if we put this up here? I wish they were really this easy to carry around. <laughs> yeah, turn it, turn it up. Yeah, turn it up. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There. <laughs> I did that all myself. <laughs> hey, I know. No, 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 no. Takes two. I, I delivered them all myself. Okay, but he go, was there. I go through the terrible stuff. He gets the fun part. I get the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get the fun part. He had a good time, but you got the fun part. Hello, Rip Savage once again in the wilds of, where are we, Deer Valley? You know where we are? Forest Valley. Forest Valley, with the Cottonwood Colt. How long have you been? Uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, years and years. Well, uh, how was 1973 for you? 1973 was a good year. Yes, 1973 yes. was a wonderful year. Produced a lot of Colts that year. Produced a lot of Colts. Anything else? Uh, uh, nothing of any importance. How old are you? Can we get a pan down here and uh, do something right now? How old am I? Yes, how old are you? Uh, how old do I look? I don't know. Can you do a uh, two, three, four? Hey, this is good. Seven. 
Ten years! That's incredible. 1973, what a great year. You've, done a, you've been doing so well. Hello there, Rip Savage once again in Deer Valley, Utah. We're talking with, say your names very yeah, loudly. With Lowry and my wife, Julie. Oh, didn't you guys both go to school together? No, my name is St. George. You're from St. George. Oh, St. George. Dave, what have you been up to since you graduated from Cottonwood? I've been a working class hero. <laughs> You know, you know, it's a rough life. It's a rough life. No, I work for the fire company and I play as much sports as I can. <laughs> you have any My wife rides horses, by the way. Very good barrel racers. Hey, that's true. I married a small town girl like myself. Remember, I was the Sam Pete kid. The Sam Pete kid. That's right. Do you have any great jokes? Any dirty jokes? Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this. I haven't worked in years. Oh, I appreciate this. Just leave me alone. Oh. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Could you tell me exactly what you had for dinner? Oh, yes, yes. I had one piece of drumstick, chicken, yeah. and a lot of corn on the cob. some corn? I had a lot of corn on the cob, and one roll, but I didn't eat it. A couple of pats of butter, and some cocktails. Really? Uh huh. I'm sorry. What'd you have? I had probably the same thing, only less corn. No, that corn was really good. <laughs> you know, we have off camera at this very moment, even as we speak, the most swanky dressed woman here tonight. The most swanky female. Where am I? Where am I? Hey, I can't see myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, find the light. Find the light. The light. The light. The light. Here she is. Okay. And here I am too. Oh, oh hi. Hello. Hi. I'm not quite the light. Oh, isn't this wonderful, you guys? Yes, I mean, it is. I mean, look, look. There we are. We're up there. We're stars. I yeah, can't talk to you. you are, but I'm not. Oh, we're talking. Uh, Debbie came in from California, Los Angeles. This is my ball. I know the ball. Oh, there I, I bet the police are playing tonight. You're not even there. <laughs> um, I do believe it's time to get off. Are we Thank you very much. This forever? is the Swanky Female. Bye. Bye. Continue well. reunion. Okay. Bye. Swanky is yes. female. At first I thought it was sweet, but now it's Swanky. <laughs> Hello there, Rip Savage, once again from the wilds of Deer Valley, Utah, where we're talking with Robel and Susan McElfrank. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful time here. Just marvelous. Great, great. What have you been up to since you graduated from uh, Cottonwood High School? Well, I've been up to 6'1 and about 220, but now I'm down to 205. Oh, you look fabulous. Thank well. you. Thank you. Susan, what have you been doing? Taking care of him, keeping him out of trouble. <laughs> good. That's, that's a good thing. Has anything exciting happened to you in the past 10 years that you'd like to tell us about? You got married. That's, that's about it. I have two children. You have two kids. What are their names? Rachel and Little Romeo. Yes, Little Romeo. That's terrific. It's uh, I enjoy it. What do you got in your hand there? I have the canvas papers that I won here tonight. I'm going to do this. Wait a minute. You're a winner? Yes, I am a winner. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rip, Rip gets excited with winners. That's just the way he is, you know? Let me tell you, it was exciting. I never won anything before in my life. That's great, Rip. Do not forsake me, oh my darling. Hello, Rip Savage from Deer Valley, Utah, where the challenge has been met. Earlier, you saw a face by a Mr. Alan Wood, who graduated in 1973 from Cottonwood High School. Well, I'm taking on the challenge. I'm going to pull a face myself. Oh, we like it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Uh, Woods, would you like to come back out here and sure. try to top that one? Sure, I'll expose uh, the details. Take a look up there and uh, get the light just right. Take your time, there's no okay. rush here, there's Thank no you. time limit. If I could get a focus in on this. And then okay. I, I'd like to pull two faces. Very good. If I could. You okay. Bet. First one is my usual face. Okay, here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's mean, isn't it? Pretty mean? That is ugly. Okay, okay, here's my second one. Here's my second one. Great for a minute. You're supposed to be on camera. Oh. Okay, here we are. We're 
on 45th South and 13th Days and cat taxi cab. We're having a hell of a time trying to. It's kind of dark. I can't even see my face. Yeah, but that's, that's on the display. Where it's at, Cheryl. We're having a good time. Tell us how you met. We met. Uh, we met because Cheryl thought I was beautiful. <laughs> Little did she know that she is gorgeous. We're having a good life. Ten more years, you guys are going to regret this. Because these gin and tonics are going to cost at least five bucks more. Let's go, Cheryl. We've had enough fun. Cheryl, how's Cheryl?